Tell me when did Stephanie become Gaga and what was that like? Like, did she say, Mom, I've got this idea. Like, how did that happen? No. <laughs> she had a very unique style, kind of a persona from a very young age. So it just evolved and morphed around 19 and early 20s is when it started to take shape. We are on the Upper West Side of New York City, and I can't wait to introduce you to my next new favorite mom. She's a mom of two beautiful daughters, one of which happens to be an international superstar. She's won Grammys and Oscars. She performed at the Super Bowl. She just happens to be Lady Gaga. So let's talk with her mom, Cynthia, at the family restaurant. Yay! Oh, we give good mom hugs. So take me back to the early days. You have two daughters. Tell me their names, how old they are, and what things were like in the early days in your house. Yeah, sure. I have two daughters, Stephanie and Natalie, and they are six years apart. They were both incredibly active, yet both very passionate about certain things from a very early age. We saw that and started nurturing it when, when they were young. I found this quote from Natalie. She says of you, she says, ever since we were kids, my parents gave us the freedom to be ourselves. Yeah, I, in our house, it yeah. was like that. The more you do that and the earlier that you do it, that, you're, you're empowering them to build a sense of confidence and to build a sense of they can accomplish anything because you're letting them explore. When did um, Stephanie come to you and say, you know what? I appreciate that you're working, that you're doing this for us. What, around what age was it that she kind of said, you know what? Yeah. Kudos to you, mom. I'm going to say about seven or eight. I was a working mom and I traveled a lot and I felt very guilty about that all the time. There was a moment I was in my bathroom um, getting ready and she was just sitting there watching me and she said, mom, mommy, I'm really proud of you. And I was really taken aback. I asked her why and she said, you know, you help our family. You get up every day and you take care of yourself and you get ready and you get us ready for school. And it was really a special. They are watching and they're learning. Did you ever notice that anything was wrong? I mean, she talks now about being bullied and yeah. I think being thrown into a trash can in middle school. But at the time, do you know what's happening? I knew some of it, but there's some of it that she didn't share because she was either embarrassed or afraid to tell me. And that was a little hard to hear. And then in middle school, because she was unique, started experiencing a lot of struggles, you know, feeling isolated from events, humiliated, taunted, and that's when she developed depression. We tried our best as, as parents to help her, but didn't know everything. So I felt where I made mistakes was I didn't really know the warning signs to look for. We have some of those, you know, a lot of good tips and help on our foundation site at Get Help Now at BornThisWay.Foundation. Wait, first of all, do I say, do you say Stephanie? Do you say Gaga? What do you say? Well, I call her Stephanie. Of course. So. <laughs> Your mom. So Stephanie, for you, I read that she learned, did she, did she just have an ear for music all the time? She did. Mm. Um, we noticed it really early. I mean, as early as like two, but she started playing piano by ear at the age of four. And that's when we saw something special um, in her. When you're watching your child perform, do you get nervous for them? You know, how does that work? Yeah. In the beginning, I used to get very, very nervous. Now I get excited. There's always a nervousness because, you know, these shows are very, they're complicated. And she's dropping out of the dome or something. Yeah. Well, that part, that was a heart stopping moment for me. Yeah. When they lifted her, there, no net, you know, nothing. Wait, no and net? No, there was no net. Wow. And I asked her about it. She's like, you just, in your mind, you just have to go for it. And so yeah. tell me, I mean, obviously, Stephanie Gaga to us is known for her fashion. Have you ever seen anything and you're like, yes, or have you seen anything and you're like, whoa, or both? No, I love it. Nothing love surprises it. me no. anymore. <laughs> no, no surprises. Nothing? No. The meat dress? Not really. Well, the meat dress, that was a little bit of a stretch, but there was a lot of meaning behind that that I don't mm. think people really understood. The biggest shocker to me, well, especially my husband was, you know, when there's not a whole lot, <laughs> you know, on and, but... She's an artist. Favorite song from oh. Lady Gaga to us, Stephanie, to you? Some of my favorites are not out there. Mm. Yeah. 
because they, they were written when she was really, really young, like when she started writing at around the age of 13. So those are in my heart. They're all in my heart, but those are really in my heart. Maybe we'll hear them someday if she wants Maybe. to. Maybe. Have you ever called her Gaga? Not really. <laughs> Before people knew who she was, my husband decided this would be good marketing mm. on our on our car. Mm. So we had it and it was great. And then all of a sudden one day people started chasing us every car. So anyway, we got rid of the plates. Isn't that funny though? And there because, it is now. You know, yeah. it's a it's a really good story because that's dad, right? He's that's like, dad. let me put the bumper sticker yeah. on my car. And I'm like, really? I'm proud parent yeah. of Lady Gaga, then all of a sudden it's like, yeah. okay. Yeah. She's bigger now. We and don't have to. Our kids are like, oh no. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so yeah. great. Can I tell you a secret? I think you might be a songwriter. What was that like to watch her on the screen? And I mean, obviously, it's not her only role, but that was a big one. The first time, the first few times I saw the film, I was really just digesting that that was my daughter. I was mm. just processing that. And it wasn't until about the third or fourth time that I could just watch the film. Let's talk about Born This Way Foundation. How did it come about and what inspired you? Obviously, we talked a little bit about it, but where did the actual idea to say, you know what, let's take this and do something with all, what we've learned? It's something that's very, very personal to us. And it goes back to the struggles that Stephanie had growing up. She envisioned a world where young people were better equipped to deal with her struggles than she was. And then as her career took off, we realized how many other young people had similar experiences. And her message was really resonating with them because she would talk about her experiences during her performance, which as a mom, I didn't quite understand. I would say, why are you being so private in public? Because these are very personal things. I mean, when I grew up, you didn't talk, you didn't share that, but she shared it. And what I came to realize is it was, it was very healing for her and also her fans. What's and, it like when you're traveling all over the country and kids just can't wait to talk to you and tell you what they've learned and what they're doing yeah. to be kind? To be kind, but it's, that's really my favorite part of the work is hearing from the young people mm. because that's how we inform all of our programs and they know best. They're mm. going through all the issues and the struggles and, I, I, and they tell us. I see this picture here. Yeah. This is a genuine hug. That's a hug. That's a good hug. Yeah. You know, like you can tell it's in that moment, as busy as she is, and as many things she probably has going on. Right. She stopped in that moment to give this she one a She stopped, hug. but don't forget, she also stopped because the bond that she has between the issues that she faced mm. and her mental health struggles and that young girls were very real. Mm. So there was just this bond. They didn't have to even almost know each other. Mm. So that that's where that was coming from. You know what she's done? Play piano, it's good. You can be a star, it's good. People can cheer, it's good. But she's taken that and she's transcended yeah. the game. I'm it's really real. proud of that. Yeah. I mean, she said recently that like, that's really her purpose. Of course she wants, she'll to never leave her music yeah. or her acting. She wants to be remembered for that, of course, but she really wants to be remembered for helping youth all over the world. So do you finally feel like we did okay? Yeah. Whenever something is wrong, I still try to fix it. And I still still say to myself, where did I go wrong? You know, because that shouldn't be happening. But but overall, I have two incredibly wonderful girls with, with great hearts. And so I feel pretty good about that. Yay. They're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing. sharing.